This video clip covers lesson practice number one from set one from this section of the notes. The instructions read, enter each equation into the graphing calculator and sketch each graph. So our first equation is y equals 2x plus 5. To enter this into the graphing calculator, press the y equals button in the top left hand corner of the calculator. This brings up the y editor screen, and the y editor screen contains various lines in which we can enter in equations and then graph them. So we're going to enter in 2x plus 5 into this first line here. So I'll press 2 and then to bring up the x we use the variable key which is located right by the alpha key. If I press that the x pops up and then I need to type in plus 5. Then I'm going to press the graph key to bring up the graph of this equation and it's a straight line and I'm just going to note two points on this uh, our first being it looks like it's negative 2.5 and then the other one is going to be the y-intercept which is 5 so I'm going to graph those two points we have negative 2.5 and then 5 for my y-intercept, and then I'm going to connect those with a straight line. And then I'm going to draw arrows at the end of this. And finally label my axis y and x. And I have that first equation graph. So let's go ahead and graph this second equation. And before I pull up the calculator, I'm just going to label the axis so I don't forget. Bring up my calculator. I'm going to hit the Y equals button again. And then I'm just going to hit the clear button to clear that equation out because we're done graphing that one. And I'm going to enter in X squared minus 3. So hit the variable key for X. And then the X squared key so to put the X1 of 2 up there and then minus 3. Let's hit graph. And I'm just going to take special note of some points here. It looks like our intercepts are around 2 and our y-intercept is negative 3. So I'm going to get the red pen here and go down to negative 3 here. Put my point in and then the other points were around 2 so I'll just put them there and then I'm going to carefully draw a parabola here through those points to sketch this graph there's my y and x axis and go ahead and complete lesson practice number two